sponsored by Dr. Marty's Nature Blend Dog Food. I'm Monica Red. President Biden has taken executive action on immigration, essentially putting a limit on daily asylum applications at the southern border. This ban will remain in place until the number of people trying to enter illegally is reduced to a level that our system can effectively manage. CBS's Linda Kenyon tells us the daily cap is 2,500. Asylum claims also would be strictly limited and would be restored 14 days after the Secretary of Homeland Security determines that the weekly average of daily illegal border crossings has dipped below 1,500. Some Republicans have called it a political stunt. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. The order coming just five months before the presidential election. Prosecutors are now using Hunter Biden's words against him at his federal gun trial in Delaware. They've alleged that he made false statements from buying a gun in 2018 by not noting that he was a drug user or drug addict. After the special agent testifies, it'll be Hunter Biden's ex-wife. That's CBS's Scott McFarland. I will not be intimidated. And the Justice Department will not be intimidated. Attorney General Merrick Garland telling members of the House today the DOJ will continue doing its job despite what he calls unprecedented attacks over a decision to withhold audio in President Biden's classified documents case. Republicans have threatened to hold Garland in contempt. A scary story now out of Texas where a man says his wife almost died after suffering a miscarriage because of the state's abortion laws. CBS's Omar Villafranca says Ryan Hamilton's wife was 13 weeks pregnant when she was told the baby didn't have a heartbeat. Hamilton's wife was sent home to expel the non-viable fetus and told to return if she needed to repeat the medication. And after two days, we call the emergency center that we went to and we say, it's not working. So she goes back in and that doctor says, Due to the current stance, I cannot prescribe this medicine for you. Well, how did you take that? Fury. My wife especially. A third round of abortion drugs did work, but abortion's been banned with little to no exceptions in more than a dozen states since Roe v. Wade was overturned almost two years ago. It's technically not summer yet, but parts of the South and West are feeling record-breaking heat. CBS News Meteorologist David Parkinson. We are dealing with both excessive heat warnings and watches and heat advisories that stretch from Texas all the way to California. Some cities already hitting triple digits today with heat expected to stretch into next week. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 79 degrees in Hayward, California.